have an open woodland? Did, did you guys notice that? Did anyone point that out to you? Andy talked about it as we were coming. Andy talked about it, and that used to be completely closed off. I mean, it was it was as thick as this right here. You couldn't you could hardly see one prairie from the last. And so, as a manager, those are the kinds of things we're trying to do here. We're trying to remove the brush from the hill prairies. We're trying to grow the hill prairies and reconnect the hill prairies. Plant flow between them. And the way we do that is the number one prescription is grass fire. And the hill prairies you walk through in this woodland here, it's been burned three times in a row. Um, probably gonna burn it again, honestly. And you can see behind you, it's a little bit of an unfair comparison, but what an unburnt area looks like. And that woody succession really rapidly changes communities and literally hill prairies can be lost. And so um, as a young biologist, you know, showing up on the scene, trying to figure out what the heck, you know, has, have people been doing here and what do we need to do? Uh, you know, you heard from Randy. One thing we do is we consult the Illinois Natural Areas Inventory. We looked at where natural communities were mapped you know, what their extent was. Um, aerial imagery is a tool we use a lot. Um, I've got imagery dating back to the 40s that showed just how open this site was and how much it's changed. And so um, the biggest management conundrum here is access, ruggedness. This place is, is kind of a challenge. And so it, it takes you know, not to toot a horn or anything, but it, it's, it takes some work to, to do this kind of stuff. And um, the goal is to take what we've done here, continue it, and expand it to the several hundred other acres of this site that have not yet been burned or cut in, uh, you know, exotic, have exotics treated. And so uh, in the last two years, over $100,000 were spent here to hire contractors, four different contractors actually, to, to come here and beat back the you know the in, invading woody species in the prairies themselves and the associated woodlands barrens communities and um, we need some follow-up work so we're going to use new money to do some follow-up work we're going to continue burning and from there we're then going to branch out into these other places of the preserve so um, honestly that's a really simple story about what's going on here but but it, it is kind of that simple, actually, so. Questions? <laughs> Perfect. You explained it so well. Okay. <laughs> that was you all over the place. Awesome